Today we're going to be doing practice drills, the draw shot. I'm going to show you three different drills that you must learn and it will improve your game tremendously. So let's go ahead and take this shot. This shot's all about speed control. Hit too hard, you're gonna lose it. And that one, pretty good. Um, not as center as I'd like to be. Obviously, you know, if you can get in that red, that's the ultimate, but I'm, I'm within reason, I'm satisfactory. So let's take a few more shots. Let me go ahead. Set this one up. Now remember, I always use these uh, binder reinforcements so I can be very consistent in my practice shots. So again, my three ball sitting one diamond in off the side pocket. I put one of those binder reinforcements there. And by the way, I changed out um, the tip on this um, WPQ. Uh, absolutely love it. It's kamikaze uh, soft tip. All right, so now you've seen when you take the shot correctly how to get position. Now let's say I didn't use follow or I hit too hard or too soft. I had a couple of viewers make comments that they'd like to see the effects when you don't take the shot correctly and what the outcome is. So this one, I'm gonna obviously go really, really soft. You can see, I came close, but you saw the path of the cue ball change, went into the rail and then came over. So let's go ahead and take another shot. And this one I'm gonna hit a little harder. Same thing, draw a shot. And you can see how far out I came. So, All right, so let's take a couple more shots. Now this one I'm gonna hit with a follow shot and let's see what happens. So again, these are the shots that the viewers wanted to see what would happen. So again, you see how far off I am from my target. So soft speed, draw shot, you get right on your target. So it's all about speed control. All right, so let's go ahead and take this shot. Remember, this is the correct way, soft speed. All right, so chalk up. Let's go ahead and take this shot, soft speed. So let's go ahead and take this shot. Hit that one a little bit too hard. All right, so let's go ahead and take this shot. Remember, speed is everything on this shot. So it's a draw shot and hit low. And that's what I'm talking about, speed control. So here, put us right in the red zone. And that was very good. So let's take another shot. So same exact setup. And again, um, a couple of viewers had asked for me to, again, show what happens when you hit it incorrectly. So um, regardless whether I make the ball or not, that's not the point of this video. It's actually um, just showing what happens when you hit incorrectly. So, now this one I'll hit center, and let's see what happens. So you can see, I took a much tighter line after contact. See how far I am away from my shape zone and much closer to the rail. So that was with a follow shot. I mean, I'm sorry, that was with a stun shot. So now let's take that same as I shot with a follow shot. All right, so let's take that same shot with a follow shot and see what the 
the effect is. Now you see, it totally hugged the rail. Made the shot, obviously, but it totally hugged the rail. So follow shot brought me closer, closest to the rail. Center, it brought me about six or eight inches off the rail, the long rail, that is. And a draw shot basically put me in the center of the table. So you can see, you know, the line it took up and down, the length of the table was the same. No matter whether I hit it a follow, a stun, or a draw, the difference was where the cue ball wound up, obviously. So again, so there you have it on the effects of um, how you hit the cue ball, obviously. So again, those three were follow, stun, and draw. This particular video is about draw shots, but again, viewers asked, so doing my best to provide that. All right, so here we are, moving on to shot number three. Um, all I did was put another binder reinforcement, one diamond closer to, the, um, to my short rail. So all three shots, all I did was I took my cue ball and moved it down a diamond at a time. So now I'm one diamond in on my short, two diamonds in on my long. Remember, corner pockets or all pockets count as a diamond. So pocket is one, next diamond is two. So I'm two in on my long, one in on my short, and I should say, I'm two and two, actually. And then I'm half a diamond in off my short rail for my object ball. So obviously, you can see my target zone. I need to get position here. Now, believe it or not, even though it's, this cue ball is going to travel a short distance, for me to get the momentum off this angle, I'm going to have to hit this at a medium speed. All right, so let's go ahead and take this shot. This is going to be Draw shot, medium speed. You see, put me right in the center, right where I want to be. So again, cue ball only had to travel a short distance from here to here, but in order, because of the angle, I had to hit that with a medium speed. Those other shots I hit with a soft speed. And the cue ball traveled longer distance. But again, because of the angle that I need to come off here, it's almost the right angle. All right, so let's go ahead and take another shot. This is about speed control. The right speed will put you where you want to be. So let's go ahead and take that shot. If we were to follow, and let's see what the result is on that shot. So again, remember, always chalk up. So I'm going to do same speed, medium speed, follow shot. You see how far away that shot took me. So that's where the cue will wind up on that shot. So let's go. That was a follow shot. Let's take that same shot, the same setup with a stun shot. Now you can see, brought me on the rail, half of where I really wanted to be. So again, you can see the difference in all those shots. So remember, speed is everything. So there's that draw shot, and it brings me in my target zone. So go ahead and practice these drills. Um, you know, practice them for 15 minutes at a time, each one, and you'll see how much better you're gonna progress. Again, it's finding that speed. It's crucial to, this, um, to these drills and these shots. Thanks again for joining me. I hope you enjoyed these videos. Please hit the like button, subscribe, share with your friends, and check out my new website, learnbilliards.com. I'm gonna leave a um, link below in the description box so you can check everything out. I have a whole full line of uh, cues, cue cases, and all billiard accessories at some of the best prices around. So please check it out, spread the word. I'd greatly appreciate it. Thanks again.